Good day everyone and welcome to our virtual classroom. Um, my topic for today is about depreciation. This is for intermediate accounting. So if you are new to accounting, if you are an incoming first year BS accountancy, BS, BS in business administration, BS in information technology, I suggest that you check my discussion on the basics of accounting and the adjusting entries. So, in my previous discussion, any item that has future value are uh, stays in an asset account. Then eventually, it, we transfer that when we consume or as time passes, we transfer that item to an expense account. So all of these assets, especially property, plant, and equipment, except land, has its time limit. So normally, these are usable for, usable for a number of years. So after which, they have relatively uh, of little value uh, for service or sale, or if not, zero. We have different names for that expenses uh, depending on the associated assets. So the concept for this depreciation, depletion, and amortization is the same. So it depends on which asset it is associated. For tangible assets, mga assets na nakikita, nararamdaman, nahahawakan, property, plant, and equipment, the expenses are called, the allocation of that expenses are called depreciation. For wasting assets or natural resources, assets na nauubos, nawawala, depletion ang tawag. For intangible assets, hindi nahahawakan, hindi nakikita, hindi nararamdaman, amortization. So, para mas madaling tandaan, isipin mo na lang ang mga expenses or pinagkakagastusan mo doon sa mga minahal mo dati. Depreciation ang tawag pag nakikita or nararamdaman pa. Depletion naman ang expenses pag unti-unting nawawala. At amortization yung mga sinayang mo nung mga panahong hindi mo na siya nakikita. Oh, di ba? Mas madaling matandaan. Okay, next. So, let's uh, discuss how we compute depreciation. So, depreciation by definition, it's definition, it's also the formula for computing depreciation. Where depreciation is the allocation of the cost or depreciable cost of the asset divided by or over its useful life. Okay, again, depreciation is the allocation of the cost of the asset over its useful life. When we say depreciable cost, it's the acquisition cost or the construction cost minus the salvage value. Salvage value is also known as the scrap value. At the end of the year, um, you can recover some amount from its scrap value. So we deduct it from the cost of the asset to come up with the depreciable cost. Okay, so let's proceed with comp computation of the depreciation rate. The most common uh, method of computing depreciation is the straight line method. Straight line meaning we get the same depreciation expense amount every year. The annual depreciation is computed by dividing the total depreciable cost, meaning cost minus salvage value, over its useful life in years. So again, annual depreciation is equal to depreciable cost over its useful life in years. Then we will get the depreciation expense per year. Uh, the best example for assets 
that this depreciation rate is applicable are your buildings. When you construct a building, say in 2012, the same value, the same benefit, the company is uh, getting out of that building, out of the investment they had from the building. So straight line method is the most appropriate uh, method of allocating its cost over its useful life. But there are types of assets that are effective or most productive in the early parts of the asset life. So therefore, uh, for this type of assets, straight line method is not the best uh, method of computing depreciation. So meaning it's not the best method to match cost with its corresponding revenue. So one method uh, that will solve that issue is the working hours method where we get the depreciation per hour based on the estimated total hours that an asset is uh, usable. So this method is usually best for um, assets like machineries. Okay. Another method of computing the depreciation rate that is similar to working hours method is the output or the production method. So depreciation per output is computed by dividing the total cost over the useful life. Now in terms of the estimated total output it can produce. The most common or the best example for this method is a copier machine. Okay, let's apply those formulas in this problem. To make the most out of this tutorial video, I suggest you prepare your paper, pen, and calculators. Pause this video, solve this on your own, then go back to this video, play, and check your answers. Uh, that way you are practicing. So you get, you're getting more out of this video by practicing. So let's proceed. Quarantino Company purchased a machinery at the cost of 845000 on January 1, 2019. The estimated, uh, it was estimated that the, the machinery has a residual value of 45000 or the scrap value. Uh, all of its life in years, five years, in service hours, 80,000 service hours, and 100,000 based on uh, units to be produced. Okay, so we will be using those three uh, depreciation methods that we have uh, learned just now. Okay, so you have here your operations, hours, and units produced. So first we will use the straight line method. So in straight line method, depreciable cost is divided in the number of useful life in years. Then you will get the annual depreciation. So it's 845,000, the total cost, minus 45,000, the scrap value, divided by life in years, which is five years. So our annual depreciation is 160,000. So if we plot that in our depreciation table, so you will get this. So you put the years here, depreciation, or the depreciation expense per year, per year. That's why it's called straight line. So it's straight 160,000. So take note, we only allocate 800,000 over its useful life. That's the depreciable amount. Accumulated depreciation or the total depreciation per year. So year one, 160. Year two is the total of these two years, 320. Year three, 480. Total of these three and so on. At the end of the life of the asset, its carrying amount is equal to the scrap 
value or the unallocated portion. Okay? It starts with the cost and it ends with the scrap value. So that's for straight line method. Straight depreciation expense or uniform depreciation expense each year for the entire years of the asset. Then we have the working hours method where the total depreciable cost is divided by the total hours expected to be served by this uh, machinery. Okay, so our depreciable amount is 800,000 divided by 80,000 total expected hours for this machinery. So you get 10, 10 pesos per machine hour. Okay, so you get 10 pesos machine hours. So now for this entire for, for all of this, for all these years. So number of hours times depreciation rate, which is 10 pesos, we get just now is equal to the depreciation expense for that year. Then for 2017, 17,000 times the depreciation rate and so on. Depreciation now it's 170, 180, 170, 180, 150, 100, 20. The concept is the same with accumulated depreciation. Year one, this is year one plus year two. This is one, year one to three. Carrying amount is the same. Let's start with the acquisition cost. Carrying amount minus the depreciation expense is equal to the carrying amount of that year. So six, six, 665,000 for example here minus the depreciation for 2020 which is 170,000 your remaining carrying amount is 495 likewise for 2021 495 the beginning of 2021 495 minus 180 here for 2021 depreciation you will get the carrying amount of 315 and as always the last year's carrying amount would be equal to the scrap value. And lastly, depreciation based on the output method. So again, depreciation, depreciable cost divided by the estimated total output. So 800,000 the depreciable cost. Our expected units in our problem is 100,000. So we will have 8 pesos depreciation rate per unit. So units produced per year times the depreciation rate per unit, you will get your depreciation for that particular year. So units produced in 2019, 22 times 8, you will get this depreciation expense likewise for 2018 20, 2020 2021 22 and so on so these are your depreciation expense accumulated depreciation is the same this year then this 2020 is equal to 2019 plus 2020 depreciation so 2021 again Depreciation for 2019, 20, and 21. If you observe, your carrying amount is still 45,000, which is equivalent to the carrying, the scrap value for this machinery. So stay tuned for the continuation of this video tutorial we will be discussing another depreciation method which is the sum of the year's digit so